Uh, welcome back everybody and welcome to another workout video. Um, today is a very groin focused workout. Um, why you may ask? Well, let's get into that. So, um, first exercise, Jefferson squats. Uh, I've never really done these before um, until a friend suggested them to me and the reason being is because um, it really works the inner thigh muscles, the hips, the glutes, parts of my leg that I never really train. And this entire workout is focused on my inner thigh simply because it is seriously lacking and I've never really done any targeted training for it as such. Um, and it means from the front, my legs just look so much narrower. Um, so I'm really working on trying to build up that inner part of my leg um, with targeted workouts. So Jetson squats are a great one to start off with instead of um, just regular squats. Really, I felt it pulling my inner thigh nicely, um, gets a lot of glute activation. Now, I could have gone a few inches deeper on this. I realized next time I'm gonna use the smaller plates, not the bumper plates, so I can get a bit deeper into the stretch. But honestly, this alone was enough to really target my inner thighs as I never do this exercise. So I know my form is not perfect, um, and I definitely need to get an inch or two deeper into that, but it works really well, this exercise. If you haven't done these before, give them a try. Um, I would suggest starting with just the bar, um, but they're really actually a fun one to do. Um, you don't need much weight, and it's just an interesting exercise to try out. Uh, next, I did wide uh, stance leg press horizontal. So the reason I'm lying on it horizontally is so that I can get my leg as far away from the center point of my body as possible and then that means that my inner uh, thigh and my glutes are getting worked a lot more so really stretching out my inner thigh and this was actually a killer so you can see barely any weight on here just doing high reps on each leg five sets um, really this was another exercise I've never really done before but I just decided to look up some exercises to target my weak areas and I'm going to have a lot more fun on this bulk exper experimenting with some different exercises, different methods of training and this one, give this workout a go if you want to target your inner thighs a bit or just try something different. It's a killer, it's honestly, you'll rip your groin to shreds. Not really something I should be saying, but or something you'd want in most people. But honestly, workout-wise, it's great. Next, we're on to walking lunges, and you can see every exercise. I'm really trying to focus on getting really deep and a stretch into that movement. So I'm trying to take a really long lunge to really, you know, um, get that stretch in the in the inner thigh, and just take it nice and slow and a deep lunge as well. So um, making sure that I'm basically just coming above the ground. My trailing knee doesn't touch the floor. Standard walk walking lunges, um, pro tip walking lunges, a lot, I know a lot of people struggle with balance. Um, one thing I've learned and I've helped people is if you focus on a point in the distance and just keep looking at that, you'll keep your balance. It's something I learned from trampolining. Um, if you keep your eyes focused on one point, it's much easier to balance. Also, um, with a walking lunge, you don't just go in a straight line. You can see I'm sort of lunging from side to side. It's a much more natural way of doing it. It's a much easier way to keep your balance. Uh, and it just works the muscles more effectively than just lunging in a straight line. So give that a try if you've ever had issues with walking lunges. Next, we did some hamstring curls, uh, single leg, just isolation, five sets, controlled reps, um, just nice and controlled squeezing. Uh, I don't have a single leg hamstring curl at my other gym, so when I get the opportunity to use one, I do, because doing it backwards in a leg extension machine is decent, but it, it, you don't get quite the same perfect squeeze as you do of a machine that's specifically designed for it. Um, so yeah, this was, each, each workout for legs as well, I'm gonna change up a lot. Um, try out a bunch of different things, some crazy supersets and drop sets. Um, so I'll be posting quite a lot more leg workouts and hopefully they'll grow a lot from all the stuff I'm trying out and I'll learn just all, I'm learning a lot of new accessory exercises that I wasn't even aware existed before because I'm really taking my bulk seriously and trying to improve as much as possible my weak areas. Hence why I'm actually showing you some calf race footage, which I never do, ever, um, because they have actually improved quite a lot already in the last two weeks. I'm actually shocked. I've basically just been doing them two, three times a week, uh, and all I've been doing is three seat, uh, sets of uh, rest pause uh, seated calves and three sets of rest pause standing calves at the beginning of other workouts, and they've been constantly sore, and they have actually gotten like a bit wider. My, my calf necks aren't that bad. They don't have that higher insertion, and my you know, soleus, the layer underneath, which I'm working more now, is definitely widening out a lot so I've literally they're very small just because I've had a severe lack of training for them 
uh, over since forever, um, but now I'm hitting them three times a week. I'm actually noticing some difference already. Um, and then we finished up on the birth givers. Uh, I do love this machine, um, the adductor, abductor machine. Uh, so we're hitting the adductors right now. So um, a nice squeeze and hold in the middle, then a stretch. My hip flexibility is awful. All my flexibility is awful, um, which is why I'm starting yoga soon. So that's gonna be interesting. So uh, once I know what sort of level I'm at, I might record a little uh, workout of me and Amy trying some yoga because I think it'd be hilarious to see just how inflexible I am. Um, I'm really trying to you know, balance myself out on this bulk however possible, including things like flexibility, um, you know, my cardio. I want to improve everything, just not how big I am. Um, so that means you know, using my brain, using different training styles that I've not done before, taking on some different sports or exercises that I haven't done this before, such as yoga. We're gonna take on kickboxing as well soon, now that all these sort of clubs have started opening up. It was our um, New Year's resolution way back <laughs> to start doing clubs and stuff like that. It got to March and then everything got locked down and that New Year's resolution just got swept under the rug. So we're starting now, uh, it's never too late in September um, with some yoga and um, kickboxing, you know, cardio flexibility, uh, something I really want to work on as much as possible. But yeah, this bulk is going good, literally only in the third week of cycling and I'm already feeling like I'm growing like quite a lot. Like my shoulders, I feel like I've rounded out and got a lot bigger already um, and my calves and my legs have actually been growing and I'm going to show you a lot more progression of my leg progress because um, I'm enjoying it and you know for me to stop them being disproportionately small to my upper body I'm just going to have to smash them a lot and making videos on it is going to force me to train harder, try out new workouts so I'm, I'm really enjoying getting back into content making and you'll be seeing two videos a week from me uh, of varying stuff I'm going to try and keep it fresh and interesting and I'm not going to try and keep posting the same old work out every single time. I'm really going to try out some different stuff, some different combos uh, that you can use in the gym yourself. Um, but I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll catch you for a lot more and a lot more size hopefully. Catch you next time.